What's up guys? Welcome back to your Heroclix headquarters. Uh, it's that time again for Power of the Week, and uh, today's Power of the Week is going to be Perplex. So as always, if you guys don't already know what it does, we're going to take a look at that first, followed by me showing you how to use it in action, and then I'll show you guys some cool uh, power combos and some of the ups and downs of the power, and then I'll finish by showing you guys my favorite figures with the power. Uh, so, without further ado, let's see what Perplex does. Perplex is going to be under the damage powers, and it's going to be the brown damage power. And it says, Perplex, free, minimum range value 6. Choose a target character within range and line of fire. Modify one of that character's combat values by plus 1 or minus 1 until your next turn. So let's go see how to use it in action. All right, so Perplex, as you can see here, is the brown damage power. So uh, the only thing we have to do to use Perplex is it gives the character a free action. So no action tokens will be necessary. We basically just have to say that our Billy Batson here wants to Perplex Batman's attack up by plus one. And uh, then anytime Batman makes an attack, we can calculate that there's a plus one to his attack value. Uh, now you can also use Perplex to do minus one. So we could use him to give our opponent Scarlet Witch here a minus one to defense because she is also within our range and line of fire. Even with a zero range that Billy Batson has, uh, Perplex gives us a minimum range value of six. So there's still plenty of room here if we wanted to use our Perplex on our opponent's figure instead. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty simple, but a very effective power because you could also use it to plus one your friendly's defense. Uh, since you are yourself a character within range and line of fire, uh, you can perplex yourself. If you wanted to perplex your own attack, damage, defense, whatever, that's always a very viable option. And just like I said, you can perplex down your opponent within range and line of fire. So if you want to perplex down their defense to make it easier for your friendlies to hit, or perplex down their attack or damage so it's actually harder for them to hit is also a pretty good strategy as well. Um, there's just a million things you could do with perplex. It's simple but highly effective. Uh, you know, a simple plus one or minus one can go a long way towards missing and hitting your attacks as well as the fact that it could be the difference in KOing a figure or not, uh, especially in the day and age now where we can take a look at the back of our opponent's cards and see exactly how many clicks of life a figure has. You can know exactly how much damage you have to do. And let's say Batman's three damage was one shy, we could perplex up his damage by plus one. And now if we hit, uh, four damage would KO the figure and just get it out of the way. So there's really a million options for Perplex, as basic as it is. Uh, in fact, it's one of the few powers that I would say uh, doesn't really have a downside. There's almost always a good reason to give something a plus one or a minus one. Even if it's just to your own defense, there's really no reason not to use it. So that's why it's one of the best powers in the game, in my opinion, uh, because you can always find a use for it. It's almost never useless. And there's really a million things you could combo with it. That other support powers being the main thing, uh, like Scarlet Witch here, having telekinesis, um, being able to say perplex up our wasp's attack, and then telekinesis her over here would be a great move. Being able to extend her reach and her attack. Um, another great combination with perplex is probability control. Doing something as simple as perplexing attack and having probability control uh, exponentially increases your uh, chances of actually hitting your attacks. Same goes for perplex and outwit. Perplexing your attack or damage and outwitting their defense uh, can help your attackers get a lot of damage through to your opponent. Now a lot of those combos I mentioned are other damage powers, so you're gonna have to find characters that have special abilities that allows them to use perplex as well as some of those other powers. But as far as good abilities that aren't other damage powers that you can combo with Perplex, like I already said, Telekinesis was one, but Sidestep 
is also a power that is always useful. You're never not gonna wanna move two squares as a free action. So being able to, uh, you know, sidestep your characters into a better position to perplex something uh, is always useful, as well as characters with the shield team ability that gives all of your adjacent friendly characters a plus one to their range value and giving you that uh, ability to take a power action and give them plus one to their damage value. In addition to having perplex where you could perplex one of those values up an additional plus one or just perplex up a different value plus one that you might want gives you a lot of stat modifiers which is always a good thing all right so now it's time to take a look at some of my favorite characters that can use perplex uh starting us off on the dc side of things the new stripe from jlu is a pretty good one uh, especially for his 35 point line he starts out with a special damage power that gives him leadership and perplex. And as a unique modifier, when Stripe uses leadership and succeeds, this turn, when he uses perplex to target another friendly character, he may instead modify a combat value except damage by plus two. Um, so if you get that leadership roll, you get a plus two perplex on another friendly character, which is awesome. He also starts out with that Justice League Unlimited trait to help your action economy as well as the leadership. And then also having that stop, defend, and vulnerability as well uh, gives him a unoutwittable, unpulse waveable defense. Uh, and having that sidestep helps too. And fly in Dom, six range. I mean, he does a lot uh, for that 35 point line there. So I really like him. That potential plus two perplex is great. And everything else he brings to the team with support. And then over here we have another cheap Justice League character with perplex. Uh, Billy Batson, he's either 20 or 40 points. He also has this cool special movement power that at the beginning of your turn you can choose an opposing character within four squares and line of fire. And until your next turn, that character can't be given free actions. Uh, so that can help shut off your opponent's perplex, as well as outwits and sidesteps and everything. Now you also get this awesome stop click at the end, so he's got a lot of life for a cheap support figure. And if you paid 40 points for him, then you can change him into the Shazam from that set on his 100 point line. Uh, so getting a 100 point character for 40 points is pretty awesome. But even just having a 20 point perplex with willpower is really good as well. Like I said earlier, characters that can combine support powers like perplex and probability control are great. And that is why Zaytana and Raven are two of my new favorite uh, perplexers. Zaytana also having that JLU trait, and then having a special attack power that gives her penetrating blast, telekinesis, and free generate a bat bystander uh, is really cool. I'll show you that in a second. But mainly it's that perplex and probability control on her special damage power that is so great. Taking a look at the back of her card, uh, for 75 points she starts out with that sidestep penetrating TK combo with the perplex and prob, uh, as well as being able to generate the bat bystanders. And even for 50 points, she still gets some phase teleport, penetrating blast, and the perplex and prob combo. Um, and then we can just take a quick look at what the bat does. It's got sidestep, it's tiny size, and it's got enhancement and shape change. So just being able to use that sidestep and enhancement combo uh, in addition to her, you know, sidestep and perplex and prob combo, as well as the TK, the mystics, the penetrating glass, there's a lot that she brings to the team. And, and the JLU trait too, yeah, she's really good, basically. Uh, and then Raven, for the exact same reasons, she has a very similar set of powers. So she's got Titans Reborn trait, which is nice if you're on a Teen Titans team. Uh, but the ability to carry three characters that share a keyword with her, uh, regardless of flights, is awesome. She also has stealth to keep her protected, which is important for your uh, support characters. Uh, perplex probability control and also support to heal your friendly characters um, if you're not already going to heal them with the titans team ability again mystics is great some penetrating glass there if you use her at 50 points um, she's great at both point lines uh, yeah that perplex and prob combo is really just so good and everything else she brings to the team again is very helpful now taking a quick look at some awesome batman family perplexers We'll just start over here with Alfred from the Batman animated series set. So he's got a cool special defense power that has a unique modifier 
uh, Alfred and adjacent friendly characters named Batman both modify their defense values by plus one, which is really cool. Uh, it's kind of like a free perplex on defense as long as they're just adjacent. Uh, and then he also has perplex and as a unique modifier, when he uses it on a friendly character with the Batman family keyword, after choosing the combat value, you may roll a d6. If the result is less than the target's click number, you may instead modify the chosen combat value by plus two, uh, which is actually a really good combo with, you know, some of the Batmans that have like multiple starting lines, because if you play them on the smaller point value, uh, they're still gonna have a higher click number, which is gonna be really easy to pull off that plus two perplex. And then uh, he also has some awesome sidestep and Batman team ability to keep him safe in stealth. For only 25 points, he can potentially give you a plus one to defense as well as a plus two to really any other stat. And then moving on to Batgirl. I love this Batgirl. She does a lot of really cool and interesting things, such as being able to use running shot and carry ability and improve movement characters. Uh, she, of course, has a Batman team ability, but her really cool thing on her damage power here is that she can use Perplex, and when she does and targets another friendly character, she can choose Empower or Enhancement, and the targeted character can use the chosen power until your next turn, uh, which is really interesting. So if you Perplex up, say, the defense value of uh, Alfred here, then that Alfred can use Enhancement or Empower, whichever you prefer. Then you can just have him stay next to your Batman to, again, plus two their defense, and then he's enhancing him as well as plus two perplexing something. It's really cool. Uh, there's a lot of cool combos you could do with just these three characters, actually, because moving on to this Batman here, he has the Shifting Focus Batman trait, which is really great to Shifting Focus between all the other Batmans that have that trait but he has a special damage power that gives him Perplex, and again, as a unique modifier, he can use Perplex to target all other friendly characters within four squares in line of fire, choosing the same single combat value other than damage to modify. Um, so that's just really cool, uh, perplexing all of your other friendly characters within four squares, you know, giving all of them plus one to defense or all of them plus one to attack, all of them plus one to range. You know, there's a lot of really cool things you could do with that. Willpower and Batman team ability help as well. Um, so yeah, those are some of my favorite DC characters that can use Perplex. And now we'll move on to Marvel. All right, and starting us off with some Avengers, we got Ant-Man and Wasp, or in this case, Yellow Jacket and Wasp. Uh, this Yellow Jacket does something very similar to the Batman we actually just took a look at. So as you can see on his damage power, he can use Perplex, and when he does, you can choose one. He can use Perplex normally or Unique Modifier. He may use Perplex to target all friendly characters within four squares in line of fire, choosing a single combat value to modify. It's interesting enough on his, it does not say that you can't choose damage, so you could Perplex uh, all of their damage values by plus one. Then he's also got a cool little trait that when a friendly character is KO'd, you can heal him a click. So uh, if they don't like focus him down too fast, he can uh, just keep healing up. He's got sidestep and willpower as well to move around a lot and get the most use out of that big area of effect perplex. Uh, and then this wasp here doesn't actually start with this special perplex. Uh, she actually gets it there. You can see on click two on her special damage power, but it's really powerful. So she can use perplex and when wasp uses it to target herself, she may instead choose to modify the same combat value uh, accept damage on each friendly character with the Avengers keyword within range and light of fire. So now this one's not a unique modifier, uh, but you can't choose damage and it's only going to be on Avengers within range and light of fire. Uh, but now she is a friendly character with the Avengers keyword within range and light of fire. So in, even though it says instead, I know it's a little confusing, but uh, she will still uh, be counted in that. And then having traded shape change is always a plus, especially if she succeeds, she does a penetrating damage to the attacker while also having full dial of super senses and tiny size, uh, as well as that running shot precision strike makes her a pretty good attacker and she's very well defended to make some good use of all that perplex. And moving on to some more Avengers, Scarlet Witch is one of my favorite perplexers in the game. Uh, this one right here practically invented the perplex probability control combo 
the old Chaos War Scarlet Witch. Uh, 75 or 50 points. She's got the Mystic's team ability. And then she's got that Perplex and Probability Control combo there on her damage power. As you can see, starting out at her full 75 point line, she also gives us some telekinesis to uh, help the team move around as well. And then uh, if you go to her 50 point line, she gets some penetrating blast and some barrier. So she also brings uh, some other interesting things to the team on that point line as well. And then taking a look at the movie Scarlet Witch, I like this one a lot because she starts out with that stealth, willpower, and eight range perplex, as well as some uh, decent attack and damage values there as well for only 55 points. Um, and she also has this really cool trait that you can give her a free action when she has two action tokens. Choose a friendly character within her range and line of fire. Modify the chosen character's combat values by plus one till the end of your turn. And then at the end of your turn, deal her one unavoidable damage and uh, don't clear her action tokens. And if the chosen character is named Hulk, you may modify the combat values by plus two instead, which is awesome. Uh, so having that ability to plus one combat values on any character within her range and line of fire, as well as having a normal perplex uh, for only 55 points, and that eight range is uh, quite a bit of range for that ability. Uh, it's just insane. You can keep somebody plus one to everything and uh, additional plus one with the perplex is nuts. Moving on to some other teams that I like to play. Mary Jane here from the Superior Foes of Spider-Man set is great on a Spider-Man family theme team because she has a cool trait that adjacent friendly characters named Spider-Man modify their attack value by plus one and can use the carry ability, but only to carry Mary Jane. Uh, so being able to carry around your own little personal plus one attack as well as having perplex on top of that um, lets you perplex your damage or your defense or even your attack an additional plus one, whatever you need. Uh, and for only 25 points, uh, she also makes a great use of theme team probability control. Being able to be carried around uh, is great for that. So I love using her with Spider-Man. Uh, moving on to X-Men, the new common beast from the Dark Phoenix Saga set is great. Uh, all that improved movement for elevated hindering and characters really helps him to get around. Uh, but on a special damage power there, he has Perplex, but only to target other characters. And when he uses it, if the target shares a keyword with him, you may instead modify a value except for damage by plus two or minus two, uh, which is pretty interesting if you were to go against some opposing X-Men politician or scientist keyworded characters, you could minus two to their defense. But then again, also having some sidestep and uh, pretty good values there. X-Men team ability as well to help out the team is great. For only 50 points, that plus two perplex does come in handy. And uh, speaking of a plus two perplex, for only 40 points, the new Valeria Richards brings a lot to a Fantastic Four Latveria or Scientist team since uh, she has a damage power that gives her perplex with a range value of eight and does a unique modifier when Valeria Richards uses perplex to target another character that shares a keyword. She may instead modify a value except damage by plus two. Uh, so an eight range perplex that can give a plus two is amazing. Uh, she also starts out with an attack power that gives her free choose a standard attack power and she can use it to your next turn. So she can use a lot of good um, offensive powers like pulse wave or supporting powers like telekinesis is amazing as well as opening up with that sidestep and that fantastic four team ability. It's just amazing what she can do for only 40 points, or should I say fantastic. Now I do have one more set of characters to look at. So some of the best perplexers in the game are of course shield characters. Having the shield team ability to start with already gives you additional stat modification powers and gaining perplex on top of that uh, just doubles the effects of some of those. Uh, so starting us off over here, Monica Chang. I already took a look at her in our uh, enhancement video, but she's great for Perplex as well for the same reasons. Uh, for starting off that shield team ability to give adjacent friendlies plus one to range and potential plus one to damage if you take a power action. And then on her damage, she has enhancement and Perplex. 
So she's giving them plus one damage for range attacks and perplex for whatever else you need to modify. But when she uses perplex, she may modify a combat value by minus two uh, instead if the target has the armor or robot keyword, which is very interesting because right now there's actually a lot of really good armor and robot keyworded characters. So, so she's actually really good against those. And again, you know, having stealth, combat reflexes, and penetrating blasts. Uh, gives her quite a lot of use for the team besides just all the support that she brings for only 65 points She is awesome moving on to Everett K. Ross from the uh, Avengers Black Panther and the Illuminati set uh, This guy is great since as a special damage power. He has perplex unique modifier when Everett K. Ross uses perplex he may modify the chosen combat value by plus two instead if he does, at the end of your turn, roll a d6 on a 1 through a 4, deal Everett K. Ross 1 unavoidable damage. Uh, notice that it does not say uh, you cannot pick damage, so you can actually plus 2 somebody's damage, uh, plus 1 their damage again for a range attack with his shield team ability, um, and then only at the cost of potentially taking a click of damage at the end of the turn. Starting off with stealth and willpower helps him to get into position and stay safe. And uh, even if he takes a click from that special, you got some sidestep to move around. And he has that special perplex his whole four click dial for only 30 points. This guy is insane. And another great shield perplexer, of course, is Sharon Carter. Again, having that traded stealth with uh, some improved movement and targeting through hindering is going to be really great to help keep her safe. Uh, she also has traded leadership. And if she's adjacent to a friendly Captain America or Steve Rogers, she and those characters get a plus one to their leadership roles, which is amazing <laughs> already. But the real reason we're here is Perplex. So she can use Perplex, and when she uses it to target another friendly character with the shield keyword, uh, that character can use Outwit until your next turn. So giving Outwit to a character that you perplexed is incredibly helpful, uh, especially if you use it on like a character with some type of special improved targeting like she has. They can see through stealth. To use that outwit on any of your opponent's stealthy characters can be very helpful. And again, having sidestep, uh, as well as that shield team ability for only 35 points, she brings so much to the team, it's crazy. And rounding us off here, we have the fixer. Now he doesn't have shield team ability, but he does have the keyword, as well as some other really good keywords here with aim, hydra, masters of evil, thunderbolts, and scientists. Lots of good teams there. Assembled Bolts and Masters uh, will help you for the Masters of Evil or Thunderbolts. He also has Perplex with a unique modifier that when Fixer uses it, he may instead choose a single combat value other than damage to modify on all friendly characters within four squares and line of fire, uh, much like we've seen on a couple other characters on this list. Um, again, also having some flight to move people around and telekinesis to move people around for only 50 points is incredibly useful. All right guys, so that does it for this edition of Power of the Week. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me. Uh, let me know in the comments what powers you guys want to see next week. That's very important. I wanna know what you guys want to see next. But also feel free to let me know what some of your favorite perplexed characters are as well. And as always, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. And if you guys haven't heard, we are now on Patreon. So if you guys would like to see your name here in the credits, make sure you visit the link in the description below and uh, help support the channel if you want. That would be awesome. I would very much appreciate it. But until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, this has been Heroclix Headquarters, signing off.